Hello everybody, it is Tom Jurassic back here today with another video review and today we are taking a look at the Deep Sea Submarine from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line. This is one of the first vehicles to release in the line. You can see the Aquatic Submarine, which our main characters use to retrieve the Indominus Bones. Nice Jurassic World packaging. Nice bit of rib cage on the side there from the Indominus. Really, really nice case. You can see if I can get it to do it. There we go. Lights up. We'll show you that a bit better later on. Nice image of the Indominus on the box. The Matchbox logo and lots of great detail. So cool looking packaging. You can see on the side the Jurassic World logo just there looks fantastic really cool logo as always on the back all of the relevant information on the submarine the capture truck down here now you can let this float there are ballast tanks that you can unscrew to uh, prevent it from floating which is quite cool you can see of course a figure in the submarine itself there we that, let that focus looks great really really cool toy and then the Jurassic World logo on the other side there as well as you can see there so all in all a really really cool looking toy obviously iconic from the introduction scene for Fallen Kingdom uh, and a really unique toy which saw two releases one in the single card here and one in a playset with a Mosasaur and the Indominus Rex skeleton. So I couldn't get the skeleton playset, so I've got this version before us here. I'm really, really excited to look at this one. Lots of nice details and texturing on this thing. So I think without any further ado, we will jump straight in. Okay, so here you can see the submarine out in the packaging. And it is undoubtedly one of the more unique Jurassic vehicles to join the collection. As you can see, lots of nice details if I get this in focus. On the sides we've got the Jurassic World logo, lots of great texturing, some spotlights up here which look fantastic. Down here on the front we've got some nice texture detail on the front of the bast cylinders which is um, what has obviously got the air in. We have got some nice vents on the side here to give the illusion of propulsion some nice kind of cabling detail on the back here and the idea is this back section here if we get this in focus you can remove these pieces so if you want the submarine to dive then you can have them open as you can see they're hollow and if you want it to float then you keep them empty fill it with obviously air and the idea there is it will then allow this thing to float now we do have some more nice detailing on the back, a nice piece of grey detail here. I'm not too sure what this connects to, but it's an interesting detail nonetheless. Again, similar details on the sides, they are symmetrical. Some nice white striping here, adds kind of the almost caution kind of area to it. Great details here, really really nice kind of texturing, feels really industrial, which is what you want for a submarine. Some lights on the front here, the interior canopy there, you can see me there, um, with some great detail inside, we'll look at that shortly. If we twist it forwards, really really nice simulated hatch on the top, and also those lovely spotlight details. Now as you can see if we zoom it back out a little bit, we do have these arms. This one here is a bit loose as you can see there, unfortunately it drops itself. This one is a bit tighter, uh, but these arms are functional. So you can see they can rotate, they can bend forwards, and then bend here. And if I just get that into focus, we'll take a quick look at that. See if we can... There we go. This does spin, so this is a cutter quite a cool detail uh, we can see it a bit better here you can see there if we again just get that into focus because it's struggling a little bit 
a nice cutter piece. And on the other side, we have got a nice claw piece. And this will actually snap shut and grip onto stuff as well. And they are articulated so you can get some nice poses with them where it kind of looks like the submarine is heading into the ocean and is ready to do its thing. So really, really cool look there. Um, if we open this up, you can see we can lift the hood up like so. And there is an electronics package here. So you press here on the top and it will let the submarine light up. I will try and get some photos of that in a darker room to really make it show up, but it's a cool little detail there nonetheless. And you will see when we open this up, there is loads and loads of nice detailing inside the actual body of the vehicle as well. You can see if we brighten that up. And don't shut it on my finger. <laughs> loads of nice details for the seats there. Lots of details and buttons, bits of greebling around the perimeter of the seats. And then facing the other way, you can see simulated computer monitors foot pedals, everything you would kind of need to operate a submarine effectively. So what you can do, if we zoom it out a little bit, is take a couple of your Jurassic World figures. So I've got a spare figure of Wheatley here. There's one sitting in nicely. A spare figure of a mercenary. There's another one. We'll just bunch him in there. And you can then shut those characters in there. And as you can see, they are nicely inside. So, overall, if we just get that a little bit darker, twist it around a bit, there we go. Overall, the submarine is a really nice Jurassic World product. It is something which is very, very unique. Something which we saw obviously in Fallen Kingdom and haven't seen again since. And something which I think will be very popular with fans who like the Mosasaur, who enjoyed Fallen Kingdom and who are completionists. It's got some nice play features. It does float so it will be popular with kids. And obviously the ability to open it up and put figures inside is wonderful. So all in all that said, this is one of the few vehicles to come out in the Jurassic line. If you are a fan of vehicles, I do recommend picking this one up. It is still available on Amazon UK at the time of recording this review. Uh, and I do not think you will regret getting this one around Christmas this year. Thanks as always for checking out the video, guys. Let us know if there's any other older Mattel products you would like us to review here on Jurassic Collectibles. And as always, guys, take care and have a great week.